mean, it'd be a nice place if it wasn't so, you know, guys running around trying to kill you every two seconds. Oh, dude, you're gonna see like the you're gonna see the bitch with big tits. I mean, she's got titties for days. Well, cause there's always one. <laughs> Just about <laughs> what where he goes to. I totally love, I, I love Lisa B. Oh, first, welcome moppers to Mad Hen Place, Eisenhorn Xenos. Yes. So, um, uh, 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 I was gonna ask, okay, Xenos brand, Xenos cultivated cereal, what the fuck do you think Necron cereal would taste like? Would it taste like the slow decay of death? I found Tanok Ray. I mean, but he wasn't interested in taking on a car. Maybe? Anyway, or maybe it would be metal. <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't born, but he's mm, dead. Maybe it just tastes like mushrooms. Make a mistake, maybe. What are you not a mushroom fan? <laughs> no matter my Well, I mean, Tomorrow mushrooms tend to grow on things that decompose. I'm sure so. that true, true. true. That, that that makes sense. We retired for the evening. <sighs> but it was to be a far from restful night. In the small hours of the morning, I was awoken by a voxed whisper from Betancourt. Aegis. Rose Thorn. Rose Thorn reveal. Spectre's invasive. Spiral vine. I had Sir, to escape, but I couldn't. Why use is the your earpiece louder than you in real life? Search <laughs> <laughs> over there. Like we're supposed to hear it from your perspective. So from your perspective, God has spoken. <laughs> and then we hear you talk and it's just like <laughs> Who could have tracked us to the hotel? I was just saying, the abruptness of their volume control. Nobody went back in, looked over the scene, and was like, yeah, that, that, that cutscene's God. That's God speaking down from the heavens. <laughs> Hold on. My stomach. It's my stomach again. Well, I mean, you're, you're right. I know the sound engineering's fucked, but, like, yeah, it's still... It's still... I still... Uh, oh. God damn this. Well, that's just, I guess, in my sense, it's a it's a minor gripe because it's like one of y'all had to look at that cut. Someone had to realize that it was like someone had headphones on, and that probably jump scared. Yeah. <laughs> oh come on! I gotta fucking you know. typical game. Yeah. A ladder here. You could just, you know, hop up, grab that bottom ring, but no. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. All characters back then jump like you. Mm-hmm. Like, look at that. Oh, I don't need any health. I'm good. Oh yeah, because this is okay. So this is time. To So, who's that? You. That's a goddamn. It's kind of weird that you need visual recognition for that. Yeah. I feel like radio waves can get through that. <laughs> I feel like. Just so. Oh, I feel like making love. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, because the toxic gas. So I gotta, like, hurry out of here or whatever. I love how in the future, Ooh. no matter what calamities we have lived through, there's always some form of toxic gas that's killing us. We are never immune to toxic gas. Fuck, Even I mean... when they're like, ah, they grew up in this. But if you go deeper into this area, it's more toxic. And you're like, what the f <laughs> I get where you're Animals coming. get immunity at a point. Why do humans get chipped on that? <laughs> I mean, really though, there's there's certain certain animals that over a period of time in evolution, it's like, okay, well, we're getting poisoned, let's adapt. And then other ones are like, hey, we're gonna make poison in our body. And humans are just like, Continuing yeah, sleep. fuck it, no poison. Sign of them yet. Whatever. <laughs> I mean, like, yo, this is the 
same realm, that, you know, where Nurgle exists, so... Okay. Well, then, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, no, okay, I'm not reading all that. <laughs> I, I'm to my stomach, between... Uh, student that got me sick, I want to just choke that fucking... Uh. Oh, wait, no, I can't. You can't go that way, so I have to go this way. My goodness, I am... Oh, my stomach. Oh. oh, don't tell me I'm going to gas, gas room central. Okay, so I gotta reactivate the fan. There should be two more things on this side. There we go. Yes, if I th <laughs> only only turning on the fans would open the door. <laughs> so yeah. I mean, officially, if this was an evil base, that makes sense. You don't you don't want people just breaking in. Oh right. But this is also supposed to be a functional base, so I don't see how that makes sense. Yeah, that's true. Also, imagine seeing that guy stealth running down the hallway, silently, <laughs> like he was just doing. <laughs> you see that huge of a man just running, it's just feather-footed. You hear nothing. The wind isn't even stirring. <laughs> it isn't even stirring. Still quite out here, sir. Nothing to report. Tank, look out. I'll be down shortly. Poison horn. Be careful. The garden is swarming with assault troops. No. I should be able to get into a position to Never. Don't like I didn't kill two already. Can I you oh I can only like yeah. I could it, but I don't know how much health I have though. And I don't think I refilled my health. So that's uh Ah yeah, fuck it. He saw nothing, it's fine. Wow, he didn't see anything! <laughs> That's what I told you, he saw nothing. Because <laughs> he turned, looked at you, and had no reaction, so I was like, he saw fucking nothing. Wow, okay. <laughs> he did not care. Hey, so... In position now. If you can draw them to one of those statues, I can take them off from there. Okay. Oh, uh... What was that? Come to doubles. Up to doubles. What? It's like, oh no. Wow. Oh, no. Well, whatever. Oh, but he knows. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> Still gaming. Fully <laughs> way down there. Gone. When he didn't notice you a moment ago and then someone dies, he's like, wait, something stirred. <laughs> I thought I had a co-worker. What just happened? Something's not right here. Who's in position? Oh, there are people in oh, there are people all around me. Oh yeah, they're all around me. Um, oh. and there's a fucking there's a health station. Also, it, it it says a lot to their security that you're in the center by taking out like two people, and no one knows. I need troop. Okay, I was gonna say, bro. I completely walk. I did not notice that. You should at least. <laughs> I did not notice that guy at all. It must be said I did not notice that guy. Uh, let me intimidate this guy. What? I need Truda. Yes. What? Perfectly fine. Uh, 
Oh, whatever. I dodged, you bastards. On my way now. I'll I'll join in the guard. What's going on out here? No, I need a. I need an elf. <sighs> Squad one, report. You need it. Battle. That's what you need. Yeah. I'm going for the health. Yeah, I definitely need the health. <laughs> what? Okay then. You know what the weird thing is? Because you're gonna. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not spoiling it. I'm not spoiling it. I'm just gonna fight them. I'm just gonna fight them. Hey, you! Stop. He's done. Back. Oh, right, because I have the OP weapons. I, I forgot, like, I have leveled up- I have leveled up weapons. Put the weapons down now. You resist. It's, it's a little late. You have made a mistake. A fatal one. I have no doubt. I am Inquisitor Commodus Folk. Well met, brother. We have a conflict of jurisdiction. Then let us resolve it. Explain to me why you invade my apartments in the dead of night. My work brought me to Gudrun eight months ago. An ongoing investigation. A complex matter. A rogue trader had come to my attention. One Efreed Tanakbray. I had begun to close my net around him when he was scared into flight and got himself killed. Simple cross-checking revealed that a grain merchant called Farchival had like somehow been instrumental in that incident. Farchival is my cover here on Goodwood. I am discomforted when I see Inquisitors holding to the soft, cunning ways of the Radical. That way, heresy lies, Eisenhorn. We need to share more information, Inquisitor. I'll take a guess and say your investigation somehow involves the Glor family. Indeed. Since Pontius Glor's eradication, the House of Glor made great efforts to distance itself from his heresy. But my master Angevin, rest his immortal soul, always suspected that the taint ran deeper and that the family was not free of corruption. But from time to time, over the past 200 years, I have turned my eye to them. Fifteen months ago, I uncovered traces of a cult of great scope and power, old and hidden, stretching across many worlds. Some traces led to Gudrun. I hunt out a cabal controlled by a notorious facilitator. A cabal set on performing an abominable crime. The trail leads to Gudrun and the Glores. You do the same with another heretical cell. Three others, in fact. Three, then. And you see the shape of a far greater organization. From the facts, as they stand, we are both approaching the same evil from opposite sides. Since coming to Gudrun, I have rooted out and burned two heretical cells. I am reasonably sure of the activities of another nine. For months, they seem bent on preparation for some event. Abruptly, a matter of weeks ago, their behavior changed. This would have been around the same time as your confrontation on Ubis. Eichlone's undertaking was also great, with extensive preparatory work. Yet at the eleventh hour, something either went wrong or plans were suddenly changed. Though I defeated and destroyed him, his plans were really thwarted by the fact that the Pontius didn't arrive. What has your work revealed of House Glor? I have visited them twice in three months. On both occasions, they have made every effort to answer my questions, allowing me to search the estate and their records. I have found nothing. I fear perhaps that is because they know they were dealing with an Inquisitor. Tomorrow, Sire Farshavel has a trade meeting with the Glors of their estate. 
The Inquisition has a duty to stand together, firmly against the arch enemies of mankind. In the spirit of cooperation, I will wait and see what your dubious methods reveal. Precious little, I imagine. In the spirit of cooperation, Volk, I will share all I learn with you. You will do better than that. The Glaws know me, but not all of my students. Eldane will go with you. I don't think so. I insist. I will not have years of work ruined by another agency such as yourself running roughshod through the matter. Then he had better do exactly as I instructed. So, you're you're not uninsisting from an inquisitor. You sick they insist. I'm not gonna just be like, nah, I'm good. Yeah, right. We left Dorsey for the Glor Estates the next afternoon at four. Our itinerary was to meet the representatives of House Glor that evening. An overnight stay and then a tour of the estates the following morning. After that, negotiations if both parties were still interested. I mean, it'd be a nice place if it wasn't so, you know, guys running around trying to kill you every two seconds. Oh, dude. You're gonna see like the you're gonna see the bitch with big tits. I mean she's got titties for days. Well, because there's always one. <laughs> Just about what we go to. Well, yes. You, you do not have an organization that wields power and My not lady. have the one My big kid. titted lady that you put out in the front to make everybody be in awe of. Tell me what organization I does trust not that have. Your that. journey was pleasant. We find that the weather here yeah. is so much the more No, I was going to say the, the, the League of Assassins, but I'm sure no. You will find your stay uh, wait, there's, there's always one. The <laughs> there is always one. Pandemonium right now. Wait. Oh, no, you said evil organization. I was going to say Power Rangers, but they're not, not evil. That I get much yeah, and, and technically yeah. that's sort of cheating, because they started with Rita. House Glor made and, Rita had, and, and, and Rita had big one. titties. But it yeah. is to the future that we It wasn't until they did the remake so that they I kind of downsized her. And you're like, that ain't how Rita was built. To the needs don't, of don't lie. Don't give me that Gen Z Rita. Give me classic Rita. Uh. It's weird. Seldom they were working on a sequel, but it got cancelled. Oh. Yeah. Well, I mean, to be fair. It's a hard franchise to keep things fresh and going well without just being outlandish or overriding your whole universe you've already done. It's kind of, they're starting to encroach in the, the Marvel DC issue of, I've created too much world, I'm going to have to start deleting world. <laughs> yeah. So I won't, I won't be surprised if we start getting stories of how Power Rangers are getting killed off or certain squads are disappearing or something because they built too much so it makes no sense when something attacks because you're like okay i get why the intergalactic rangers aren't there why are the fucking time stoppers not there they travel through goddamn time mm -hmm. why is it mystic force there shouldn't they sense a disturbance you know like all the you've created too many yeah, yeah they did. <laughs> and they're not all dead so they're yeah. all somewhere <laughs> yeah Anyway, let's let's trigger this cutscene. A cousin of the Glor family and his entourage were visiting from off-world, as were several other trade delegations, and a wealthy shipmaster called Gorgon Locke. Welcome to our humble abode, Master Marshal. It is an honor, my Lord Oberon. For a grain merchant from Smeta, it surely must be. Yourself. Commander of the House I'm, I'm sorry, brother right? of Oberon, the current Lord Glor. There's, I don't know you there's two all. things I'm I confused about that. Gorgon Locke. One, Wealthy I don't know where that cutscene was looking. But how many? But two, they think we're a fucking grain merchant? Well, yeah. And Ecclesiarch Look Datsel, at us. representative of some missionary or look in the subsector Edgewell Damas, which House Glaw was Do sponsoring. Do we look like we've merchant shit? <laughs> we are clearly military impressive. <laughs> clearly. And you roll up in here with a gray merchant cover store. Sir. 
sir, at least at least be the cover story for the person who creates the products that helps to farm the grain. The grain merchant? No. No. I don't I, I don't even think he knows what millet looks like. I don't believe I would have quizzed him when he got in. I would have quizzed him. Yeah. You're a grain merchant. You should know. If, if that's just your fashion choice, then that's fine. But when you come in looking like you're about to take over the place, I got questions. Okay. And on that note, let's, uh... <laughs> great listen yeah i'm gonna call i'm gonna call this episode i don't look like a great merchant i'm sorry that you could have at least got into disguise tussled your hair like something <laughs> you're in the same outfit we started in someone can literally take closed footage and just see that you showed up first like <laughs> There's always an evil organization with big titties, and now this. I mean, like, it's just, it, it's just, it, you're, you know, even though I'm sick, it should be noted, Captain K, you, you're, you're making me feel better. <laughs> <laughs>